Have you ever been really stressed out and then someone has told you to calm down? How did that work out for you? Did you calm down? Of course not, right? Or did you say uh, to someone that told you to calm down and relax, did you just say, hey, why don't you just shut the f Today, let's talk about four steps that you could just do instead of saying calm down. Hello, my name is Howard Cam and I'm host of the Camcast. And today we're gonna talk about what you could say instead of saying calm down. I mean, we all use these interchangeable words for calm down. Like we tell people, hey, relax and chill out and you know, but in, that has the same meanings. That basically says uh, calm down and, and that never works. That never works. Telling someone to calm down never ever works. So let's try something different. Let's first begin with why someone would tell you uh, to calm down in the first place. It's because, or you would tell somebody else, it's because that person is acting outside of this normal boundary and this normal range of human communication and behavior. And then what happens is you want this person to return to this normal state where they're not being so animated, they're not being so angry. But I, I gotta be honest with you, the reason why they're angry is that they are experiencing a, an event. So they are reacting to an action, right? It's like a four-year-old, when you tell the four-year-old, you can't have this candy, and then they start crying, or you tell this four-year-old or three-year-old or whatever, don't stick your finger in the electrical socket, and they're like, I'm gonna start crying, I wanna put my finger in the socket. Oh, I'm the bad parent that uh, I wanna stop you from being electrocuted. Okay, but anyway, so what's happening here is that there is an action and there's a reaction, right? It's, God, it's almost like Newton's third law of motion uh, in, in psychological form. Let's play this example out. Go ahead and find someone that you know, and then you know, punch them in the face. Now, as they're getting up and they're about to punch you back, just say, hey, calm down. And if you're not able to get your teeth knocked out, then you can understand why this person's angry in the first place and wants to hit you back. So yeah, the person is reacting to a stimulus and you can't just tell someone to calm down after the stimulus has already taken place. Uh, these people learn to react based on what they've learned in the past. Like all of their past experiences are shaping their future experiences, right? So if they're experiencing anger at an event, it is because they've learned how this event triggers that emotion. So they're experiencing this emotion, they're experiencing this anger, whatever the case may be, and then they're reacting to it. So let's talk about four things you can do instead of saying calm down. First, give this person a moment to just vent their frustration, share their feelings. Don't say a damn word. Don't say anything. Just let this person uh, express themselves and see what they have to say. For instance, if you started, you know, you, you started talking, it cuts them off. Don't cut them off. Let them talk for a bit. Let them express. Like, how do you feel? How would you feel if you were explaining yourself and then somebody just cuts you off and tells a completely different story? It doesn't feel good, right? Yeah, so don't do that to this person. Let them express themselves. Number two, acknowledge their feelings. Acknowledge that they're, they're, they, their feelings, and even if you disagree, even if you disagree with why they're upset in the first place or why they're feeling these feelings in the first place, just, just acknowledge that their feelings are real. Remember, this is their reaction. This is not your reaction. This is their reaction. You can say things like, I understand you're upset, or, you know, by the way, if you're the person that caused it, then you should just apologize right away. But yeah, say like, I, I understand. I understand uh, you're upset, and I understand the feelings you have are very real, right? Acknowledge that their feelings are real. Acknowledge them that, and, and, and admit, and say to them like, yes, you have every right to feel the way you do. This is, these are your feelings. This is the, the humanizing aspect of it. Even if you're unable to help them, even if you're unable to solve their problems, you humanize them, you are being a person, you're being a good person, right? And that's, that's how you move forward with this. Third, have the conversation. Have a conversation with them and ask them questions and, and play a little detective. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying like be an, an accuser, like just be a detective, like understand, take in information. Yes, I, I understand, tell me more, tell me more. Tell me um, uh, how you've experienced this in the past, has this happened on multiple occasions? Uh, tell me, tell me everything you know about about why this is. Don't don't say words like you should have, 
or uh, why don't you don't say those things when you start saying those things you become an accuser so don't say it just just listen and then do be a little detective and say yeah tell me more about what's happening here oh, okay i understand uh what happened on this event oh okay okay like bring in this information and then it helps you as a listener get this um greater greater picture of what's happening like you have this holistic view now you have this worldview this this big lens of like i see everything now i can i can put these pictures together and understand why why you feel the way you do fourth is you want this resolution now the resolution part is important because regardless if they share with you or not you want to move forward into this resolution phase to resolve your role in this not their role, right? I, we're not resolving their conflict. We're not resolving their feelings. We are resolving your role in this. I, I know that sounds like a little callous, but the way they feel, you cannot change. And if we know that, you're certainly not going to get stuck in this forever having a conversation with them. So you want to resolve your role in this. So you could say things like, um, uh, thank you for sharing. I, I hope I was helpful. Uh, if there's anything else, please let me know. If if, if there is, I'll listen. And if there's not, I want to respect your desire to reflect and then say thank you and then, and then walk away. But you want to let them know like, hey, I'm here for you if, you if you need me to listen more. But if not, I want to respect your privacy. I want to respect your ability to, to process and then, and then walk away from it, okay? So those are the four things in a nutshell. I, I've told you, you, you allow them to vent their frustration, you acknowledge their feelings, you play a little detective, you provide this comforting conversation, and then you respect their individualism. Don't push your values onto them. Don't say these are the things you should have done. Just, just listen, man. <laughs> just listen, be a little detective, absorb information, and learn from it. Learn how this person is reacting to it, and then maybe if it happens again, you have a, a better view of how, how you can help. Right? I mean, you look, you're, a, you're old enough to understand, like you're watching this video, so then you must be old enough to understand how, how people communicate. And then, and if not, then maybe this is a good time to learn. All right, uh, nobody, being, nobody enjoys being upset. Uh, I've been on the side of being a terrible friend many times. And if you're my friend watching this video and I, I was terrible to you, I'm very sorry, I'm very sorry. But uh, I'll try to be better. Um, but yeah, don't. I, I said, hey, relax a lot of times. I said, chill out a bunch of times, and that's that's really not the right thing to do. I, I've I've done, I've done things to people, and I, I I always say like, calm down, and that was so wrong of me to do that. So I'm also trying to be better. That's why I make these videos. I'm trying to be better too. Uh, I hope this was helpful. I hope this was helpful. And if you have comments, leave them below. Uh, I'd love to hear from you, and please consider supporting the show on Patreon. Every dollar helps keeps us going. Um, or you can subscribe and share out this video if you know someone that, that could use it. And great. So until then, aloha.